tell us what he is. No, oh, he has it. Don't sneeze or cough, you're all right. There's no wind, you're all right. So that's kerosene going into the... It's just straight kerosene. Straight kerosene going into the TVO tank. So now, we're going to change these wheels. Because that there. For the wheels we took off the old Bumford drill back in December that went into the other skip that we got half Wiltons. So we're going to put on these ones now. Good treads, worn, but at least the tube isn't coming out. Anymore. Hello everybody, my name is Farmer Phil and today is Vintage Thursday. We're going to be using the TVO20 to do a bit of, near, you can nearly say match plowing, to sow an orchard. So, the rest of the farm is here, Liv, Mother Phil as people are starting to call her now. And <laughs> me sister, Jessica, and bro is cut, cut somewhere. Well, he's, 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 he's somewhere. But um, we're going to be sowing an orchard now and we're carrying in blackcurrants, gooseberries and raspberries that live bought within the greenhouse but we have to put the plow on the TVO20 next as you've seen we changed the tyres, we put kerosene into the TVO tank because it'll run on kerosene and yes yeah, so we just got to get the plow on now get ourselves organised, we have a hundred trees to plant so it's going to be fun oh dear god, you do realise I have to leave and go to Galway after this <laughs> you'll be alright, she's after going and getting herself a job now so she's leaving us, she's abandoning us Finally. Abandoning it's us. <laughs> At least all the Wainlands are out and there's only a hundred beef only cattle. Only takes an hour to beat the cattle now, so that's enough. <laughs> Jess, breaking me heart, breaking me heart. Yes, Anyways, we get this plow behind this 20. Okay, hold the camera when I So here we are now at our planned orchard. As you may tell, there's a lot of sticks. We had an issue. A major, major issue that we were oh so pissed about. Oh so pissed about. Bullocks broke out of the shed and they got out here and we had our trees just in the in their lines just to hold them till we were ready to plant them and they got at them. They they, they got at them and they, they damaged quite quite a few of them out of the 100 trees we have 95 left is what i counted they took labels off them they yeah it's a bit of a mess so we have to them all. there's you can actually see for all the messing they're budding so i suppose that is about the only yeah, saving to... some of them are budding um yeah it's oh uh, there's no words to describe how I felt when I come out and I seen the bulls out bulls here after. at this. Oh, just really, really got to me. But anyways, we have apples, pears, peaches, plums, green gauges, golden gauges, cherries, mulberries. Yeah, come on, keep going. Uh, 
like we've a lot. We've cider apples and we have eaten apples and cooking apples behind you. all throughout it. So anyways, that's what we've planned. This is our orchard. I don't know what he's actually doing. We haven't met yet now. Anyways. Yeah. Oh, I don't know. We're going off the channel. Anyways, this is the orchard. It is. I can't remember how wide this area is. So it's this area between the castle, Slatted Shed, and then the middle bit of the castle wall. That's where we're aiming for. What are you doing? I say one. On either way, isn't it? Oh, here's been sprayed off for a while, hence it is a bit dodgy looking. But it's dried out. That's why I want to get this done. We have to get grass seed in it as well later on. So anyways, we'll see what's going on here. No, the real big ones are there. No, like the one that grows the biggest. No, they're there. You only got one of the really big ones. They're there. That's the lady fingers of Offaly. That's the mulberry. How do you know? But did you not think the mulberry well, was the Because we, 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 put the them, we put them on the end of the line and they were pulled out completely and I put there, dug a hole oh, and put them I in. I think these two are gone. I think. All we can do is plant them all and see what happens. There's and no sign that. Yeah, we just have to plant, replant the gaps. Everything else is growing. I, as far you as know, I can see, bar for them two. It's, oh, look at And this one. Disaster. That really, really annoyed me. I, Father Phil is just enjoying himself at the TVO 20. But we'll see what he says afterward. We'll have to measure out her distances and her gaps and all that. But anyways, yeah. That. Oh. That's just a nightmare. Oh, I... So, by the fill is after switching this over to TV up, we can see the fuel start to change there. So, hopefully, now it stays running. It should. It should stay running. So, this box here. That's far, the fuel goes into that and it's vaporised then for going into the chamber for combustion. That's what TVO is, technical vaporising oil. And kerosene works as TVO but does not have the smell of the old TVO oil. But there is a, a certain mix of stuff you put in you and get that smell. But it's changed over there and it's running. Right, Plums what's our what's plan of attack now? Plums and green gauges down the far side, yes? You give him the camera. <laughs> Here. Eric, oh. you're gonna do some damage. No. Right. Hold this. Hold that. No. Yes, yeah, wasn't that easy? You can right. see the new roots growing. Right, on now, come on. There, there's, there's two green gauges. Get all your plums and your green gauges together now. That's it. Up to you. There you go. Too bad now. What do you think? Not too bad. Yeah. Here, Jess. What? Hold that end. Yes. You hold the egot's end. Lovely. Okay. That's 15. Fifteen foot. 
so that's 15 foot between the trees so that should be enough to be able to run a topper up and down the middle The plough is ploughing, actually not too bad, but the skimmer on that end, the back skimmer, is seized, it's not moving, which is not going to affect it too much, but something will have to get sorted if we're to do much more with it. And there's a lovely smell off the old tractor, lovely smell, reminds you of going back to the old match ploughing days, so it does, a reason, reasonably straight ploughing. So we have our plums in and we're debating on whether we'll leave the end of the row and buy more plums for next year and put them in the end or what we'll do. So yeah, lots of decision making and not really planning it out, just doing what we always do. Make it up as we go along. Here, what's that one about? Maybe that one. Oh, that's the, that's yeah. yeah off that one. So there's two And then that's another type of cherry. No, these three pollinate these. Okay. So how many cherries have we? Two and three ten. with ten. Ten cherry trees. Yeah. Okay. Pull that off. We caught it rather than what. Anyways, what are we doing now? Cherries. Cherries. So Bro is hard at it. That's it. Just don't stand and live. <laughs> Come on, every, everyone start standing around it. And another tree is in the ground. to brighten the tips boards it's all just starting to brighten up a little bit yeah so as father phil was saying it's a little bit shallower here How's the tree planting going? I'm running uh, around with the cameras. I'm going now. You're going? Well, have Till fun. Find Chin up, Jess. <laughs> well, what, where am I going to go? It's Covid, remember? <laughs> so, geez, we have, are they all cherries? Yeah. Geez, we have a great line of cherry trees. Can you imagine them now in, in three or four years' time and the lovely cherry blossoms on them? Mm -hmm. You pull up a Subaru then in the middle of it. And yeah, we have one, two, three, four, five drills in 
and we'll probably fit in how many more? Probably another two, would we? Outside that again. Probably, yeah. yeah. We also have our bigger trees, which they need like a 20 foot gap in between the rows because they grow way higher. These trees are, I think, nine foot trees. They'll grow about nine foot tall. Whereas the other bigger trees, I think the mulberry trees grow up to like 20 foot and uh, Lady Fingers of Offaly, Lady, yeah, something like that, grows to like 16 foot. So they need lots more space. But these trees are all smaller trees. Orchard job, but yeah, it's, it's just great. We'll get a bit of st story time off Father Phil and maybe Uncle when we're finished on the history of the orchard in the castle because my grandfather used to keep an orchard in here. And it's one of the jobs that's always meant to be done was put one back, but anyway. If we put in the cider apples, the one these ones here aren't they? Because they had, they didn't have a thing on them. They just had like a little um, printed label on it. We have how many of them? One, three, four, five. Spade, spade. Okay. Yeah. You know, try not damage any roots. At the same time. Hey, no big long roots to them. Farmer Phil cider coming soon. So here, farmer Phil, get them in. Start digging, brother. Big hole, Eric. That's what I'm at. Fine, you're sticking. in his high castle, huh? You mean the, the two walls that are standing over there and these barriers? Still a castle. Yeah, a, a ruined castle. Still a castle. And they have dug down far enough to find a couple of skeletons. I wouldn't think so. Though. Well, no, duh. So, Father Phil's going to dig up the trees, lay them out how he thinks they should be done. Mother is going to measure the distance between the trees and we have to make sure she does it, otherwise it'll be different strides. So. Are they six foot apart? They're two, they're two on mother's feet. Two of my feet are six foot, yes. But I feel like two if I, I feel like if I lie down between them, I'd be a bit bigger than it. Your mind's six foot. I'm six, here, hold the camera, I lie down. Go on, go on, go on. Yeah, I'm six foot. Yeah, you're six foot. Yeah, you're six foot. Let's see this. Yeah. Look at that, exactly, perfect. <laughs> Look at this idiot. Just checking. Just checking. mother found the list of trees and yeah it's it we planted nine plum trees but then we found out we only have seven plum trees yeah. so that means there's two either pears or apples oh the, the cattle getting into them trees oh oh the cider apples, broke broke my heart so we'll put them at the end there broke my heart also we thought we had five cider apples we actually have ten and the other five don't have a label on them. But we know where they are. We were pretty sure we know which ones they are. We also have these poor, poor trees, Elsa's, that got an awful bloody doing. An awful doing with the cattle. Literally yeah. pulled everything off. But 
the roots look the roots look like they're alive and growing so yeah we're just going to have to look we're just going to have to plant everything what doesn't grow then replace it's it's a nuisance but what can we do shit happens we just gotta move on and work around it and bro is a mastermind with this shovel huh you should be working on the council bro don't bro you're on camera I didn't do it, but you know exactly what I meant. Think of the barbecue ribs. We're, 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 we're getting a chi Chinese for tea. You keep going, you'll get a whole ribs inside. And, and bro is, bro, bro is debating now about going. He's enjoying himself, aren't you, bro? I'm dying here. You're not dying, you're just out of, exhausted. Out of, exa out of exhausted, ah, oh, wonderful. Wonderful burning, bro. <laughs> what? Wonderful you said word. out of exhausted. Did I? Yeah. I thought said exhausted. No, he said out of exhausted. Oh. Anyways. Wait, great, great. Keep planting. We only have about another 50 to go. Yeah, that's the problem. Because we're getting about we're getting about 16 in a line. Yeah, it is not nice fun. It's it's great. It, oh, I'm just so pleased. Is that the smell of the TV or is it nearly there? A little bit jumpy. That's cute. He's done a PBO there now, kerosene. Here's the back of the pencil. So that it's easy starting. So that it will start the next time, you know? <laughs> oh, he don't know much about the PBO. And that's her after doing an evening's work. That's only the second bit of work I've done with that tractor. Second bit? Yeah, the first bit I pick stones. Yeah. And now we have the most enjoyable bit. Yeah, now we have our little plough. So you enjoyed that? Plough. Yeah. Oh god, yeah, Jenny. Like that plough. And we're lucky to just discover that man had ploughs. Yeah. So just to give that the old plough, we bought that plough off Johnston's Farm Equipment in Longford. We actually just went in, we we're looking about something else. And we went down the back to have a look and we seen he actually had a couple of, a couple of Ferguson, Ferguson ploughs, a Ferguson drillers. Yeah, he, he actually has quite a few bits for smaller yeah, tractors. Someone that's looking for a few bits now. Right yeah, it's, 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 it's well worth yeah, you checking them out. I don't know, does he have any of it online? But you can always give them a call or tip into them. But they, have, they actually do have quite a few uh, Ferguson implements, Ferguson implements and, and small vintage equipment out the back. Yeah, but anyways, great little plow. No, he did a little bit of work. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's, it's a start. He's done our job this evening. Look, it's not going to go out and plow a hundred acres or anything. Oh, it's not for that at all. But the thing it's is, it's done that job perfect. It's it's lovely finish on it. So it is. Lovely, just done a great job now. Yeah, and our tires to the car as well. Spot on, yeah. huh? That's why we keep them. We dumped them. I told you. <laughs> That's why we keep things around here because someday they come in use. Yeah, Some yeah, day. they'll do for, for long enough, but we'll put her back in the right size. Yeah. But that would actually be the right size now. That'd be the right size? Yeah, that's 11.28. Yeah. Or 10.28. The other tyres was 12.4 28, which yeah. would be a bit beefier. But that, no, I'm well happy with the way that ploughed and everything. Else. I just can't wait now to get into the garden, up the field. Yeah, oh, and get that ploughed. Yeah. Put the two ploughs in it. Ah, no, no, no. no. <laughs> <laughs> Mine, the main, that's mine. <laughs> that's yours. We'll get you into the acre or the other garden we're going to plow. <laughs> no, we we'll do have the big plow. <laughs> <laughs> be a bit, be a bit too much for him. Vintage is lovely. Yeah. Little. That's all you want. Yeah. Just the story of the castle and orchard that was in it beforehand. Grandad put in an orchard in there. Uh, probably he came here in 1938 and it probably was in the late 40s. There was a great uh, agricultural instructor in yeah. Longford, if we did equivalent to Chalkish now. Yeah. And he was all about bees and apple trees and all that sort of stuff. And there was a bit of a grant, I suppose, for it. And it was that's what the, when I was small now, there was forty trees in that orchard. Yeah. But there were the big old trees. And they were everywhere. They were and in they were, every bit of it. The, no, just on that, that bottom square. Was on that bottom square. Yeah, I remember no. pairs and stuff down Yeah, just just where there was a bit of an old bit of an old ruins of it. It wasn't even the ruins, it was just a track of old stones. Yeah. It wasn't even a wall. Uh, there was two pairs on one side, and I think it was 48 trees set. Yeah. And um, we had the misfortune of shutting sheep in it back in the 1990s. Yeah. Um, we were sponging the oats. Yeah. It's a technique, you starved them, and then you let them out to fresh grass. And uh, they just got left in one day too often. 
and the bark to trees. Long, and the bark to trees and the whole lot died. Every one of them. Yeah. They absolutely cleaned them yeah. one weekend. Um they just uh, we weren't for Galbo, we just was they were head up, they'd be ready for moving Monday. Yeah. We went down Monday, they had all the bark taken off all the trees and that was the end of the trees. Yeah. Never got over it. Yeah. Never got over it. And it was one of the things I'd like to see done. And we have it now done. Oh, it's getting scary now. Loft in. Workshop tidied. Workshop tidied. Tractor starting to get going. Tractor's going to get going. And uh, orchard planted. So it's well, fenced now. We still have a good bit of work to do. Yeah, now. look. Uh, well, 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 well just, I'll, I'll just go back home and finish a little bit out there. But we just I wanted to get that story. Just, that was the main reason we wanted to put the orchard in there. Because Grandad used to have an orchard there. And yeah, and it's bees. And these are going bees. back, and these are going back yeah. full circle. That's We're what you want. That's what getting you want. orchard in and putting bees back. Only Grandad had 40 trees. We now have 100 trees. I just under 100. Lots. Yeah. Now, unfortunately, some of them aren't little, going to make it. That little episode of them and cattle getting out didn't do us any favors, yeah. but unfortunately, that's life. Yeah. It doesn't always go the way you plan. So, we're back out here in the orchard. The next day, just to finish off to, to show you what was done. So, since we were last here, and he also then done this run here. So, that marks all the plots. So, we have 24 more trees to go in. With a few fruit, brush, fruit bushes as well to go in, but we are we we actually have more space than or more space to plant than we have trees, so we'll be buying more trees for next year. Also, then we'll be coming another. Well, we're, well, I'm not over sure because we have the larger the mulberries and the lady fingers of awfully I think is what's called. They have to be further apart from the rows for a bigger tree. So I, I think we're going to come out another few feet and plant them here and then leave our runway then or walkway between the both of the wall of the castle and then a walkway down here for moving cattle in or getting machinery in and out this way. But yeah, that is, that's the orchard. That's it done. Looks fierce well and incredibly happy to see it done. It, it's just great. It's great to finally see the trees in, even though we did have our issues with our trees, but hopefully now we don't lose too many of them. But anyways, the next job will be next Sunday. We'll finish planting the trees. If it's not, if it's dry enough, we'll plow out the rest of that ridge. And then the job after that then is to put up our paling around it. So it'll be going from down there up and into the corner of the shed. That's the plan. Also, <coughs> planning on putting up just to excuse the pile of metal scrap it never got as far as the, the bin. It just got gathered up. Um, but where the cattle are, there, so we're going to pale it back in to the gate there and then I'm going to put up a little lean, lean to of a shed coming off that to put in a vintage tractor or topper and whatever other bits that we need for the orchard, not that it's going to be a whole lot. Also in the bottom corner where you can see the hole in the wall, you'll have to get that rebuilt but that hole down there we're going to put our bees anyways that's it that's our orchard pretty much finished bar put up the thing so yeah hopefully now <coughs> won't probably won't see any fruits off it this year anyways but hopefully in the next two or three years we should start seeing a few fruit off it and then give it five six seven years we should have a nice a nice little orchard for ourselves but anyways i'm gonna leave it at that for today's video hope you enjoyed seeing the tvo 20 on our new plow working and as we said before, you're interested in getting yourself a plow or some of them small equipment, Johnson's farm equipment in Longford, quite, have quite, quite a few bits of kit like that. So you can check them out if you're looking for any of that stuff. But anyways, that's the orchard. That's it. Pretty much planted. I'm going to leave it at that for today's video. Hope you enjoyed it. That is it for me. Please like and subscribe to the channel videos every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday. Good luck.